Hi there, Jenny from Jenny Ferguson Pilates here. Today I just wanted to do a quick stretch with you to stretch out the calf muscle. So we're going to um, stretch into the backs of the legs. Um, really good, particularly if you've been out for a run at all at the moment, you're doing a bit more walking um, to get your daily exercise. Um, and also just generally if you've got stiff ankles, feet, and, and also if you have an issue with your knees at all. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what my legs are doing. So what we're gonna do is bring one foot in front of the other. So if we pop your left foot in front of your right foot and about hip distance apart, we're gonna take the right leg back and be aware of the right leg feeling straight but not locking the knee super tight. Be aware of both hip bones shining straight forwards and both feet pointing straight forwards. Really definitely um, check out your back foot because it likes to turn out. So be aware of the foot being in that parallel position. Maybe pop your hands onto your hips so that you're definitely being aware of hips shining straight forwards. Think about lengthening the spine, move the weight forward a little bit so that you're making a diagonal line to get the stretch in the calf. What I really want you to make sure is that this back heel on the right heel is definitely down and onto the floor. Holding there for a few seconds, long through the spine. What we could do is just have a little float with the arms up, hold, and then lower them down just to get a little bit of more length through the back of the body as you lift up. Brilliant with your arms and lowering down. Just keep holding. If it's not okay, give yourselves a little shake out and join back and in. So coming up and then lowering down. Make sure you're keeping the support through the center so your spine is nice and still. If it pulls across your lower back, please move, shake out, and rejoin in. Hold for a couple more seconds, and then straightening the front leg, bring the right leg back to join, and then change legs. So we're gonna step back with the left foot. The right leg is going to stay bent, both feet are parallel, and about hip distance with your feet pointing forwards. Spines feeling nice and long, coming forward ever so slightly, and both hips are shining straight forwards. It's really important that you get a, the left heel now down on the mat, and you're feeling the stretch on the lower part of the leg. So that is really important that you get that stretch. Hold for a few seconds. Keep holding, add the arm floats. If you want to there, letting them float up and down. Brilliant, if you don't want to do the arm lift, that's absolutely fine. If it's pulling on your lower back, shake out and come back in. And then stepping forward with your left foot. So please remember if anything causes you any pain, discomfort, please seek um, advice from either an exercise professional or your GP. Um, I hope you enjoyed that stretch and hope to see you online soon.